first of all, I just want to thank you for everyone make this happen. Uh, you know, I feel really grateful to be here, and then I'm still, you know, it's my first time to just experience. You know. Even I'm first time be here in Hawaii, so I'm so excited to be here. So hope to enjoy my presentation, and I'm happy to sharing my experience. Not only as an artist, but also as a human being, I really great to be here. So I'm gonna start and sharing screen. Okay, let me uh, start from explain about my background and some of some of know about the Asian country, which is the uh, China, Japan, in Korea, and. Actually, I was born in a small island, which is uh, not, you know, like Hawaii, but <laughs> my, my uncle is still learning CVD business, which is the skilled black one. So only less than 12 uh, 15 legends, so quite a few. And then when I was a kid, you know, I didn't know that how small is my hometown. Mm -hmm. And then since moving, Bigger city, I noticed that wow, kind of you know, really tiny, small island. So, as you can see, you can see the some colors, which means you know, roof, the house. So only you can count, you know, less than twenties. So my house actually the blue one, <laughs> and then you guys can see the small boat, and this is the you know see with uh, farming in the ocean so see I, I don't know but I don't know where am I but I just you know when I kids just play go swimming go fishing is my hobby but also my job so that's why I totally exposed by nature so I didn't know that but when I growing up I realized that I hugely influenced by nature so and I'm still missing my home. And so, like Hawaii, I usually influenced by local community culture and even my background, which means I didn't realize that the formative food culture in Korea, but I used to growing up like that. One day, one night, my mom, you know, yes, why don't you bring some soybean paste? And then you guys can see the meju, which is the scale soybean paste, and they hang on the dry, and then, uh, you know, to ferment it, just, you know, waiting time. So, some of know that there are four seasons in Korea, so that's why people winter season, we're just preparing kimchi and some, you know, uh, food. So, that's why you guys can see some ongi pot, you know, everywhere. There is some spot, you know, next, uh, backyard, you know. So, but most of Korean living in apartment, living in uh, lately. So that's why, if you go to see countryside, you can see that. But otherwise, you won't be able to see, you know, this uh, house and ongi. And this is one of my uh, favorite ongi garden. I had a chance to visit some local house. Uh, there are some um, place to preserving exactly the same. Even though we are most of Koreans living in bigger city, which is the uh, you know living in an apartment and there's no garden anymore. But some place like the historical place and they're still using that exactly the same. That's why uh, really fascinating not only different sizes but also each only part holding uh, people items, which is the uh, one, some of parts you know put inside uh, soybean paste and some of them soybean sauce. So that's why I like this, you know, decoration and also this seems like it's just you know family, only family. <laughs> and then I just wanna keep uh, in best time to discover this, you know, beauty of a ongi. Even though I growing up with ongi, but I didn't realize that how beautiful they are, you know, how fascinating. So, 
And then one day, I, did, I had a chance to visit a uh, local garden and then I found this guy. This is one of my favorite. And that size, human size, you know, which means, you know, over one, over one meter. And then I like this drawing. Uh, actually, this got from, you know, bingo drawings. As you know, some of know, you know, Ongik Village is just 50 ashes, 50 clay. So this is the way to breathing, you know. I'm gonna more explain about Ongi later, but I like this beauty and aesthetics. And I think there is a certain life change moment, which is the when I was undergraduate, I chose to visit uh, Ongi workshop in Korea, and then I met this guy, Mr. Hyang Jong Ho, uh, who is one of my uh, first Ongi teacher. And as soon as, as, soon as uh, seeing his work, and I really fascinating how to make the you know it takes just you know ha half a day you know less than five five hours and make over the one meter part you know I really amazing by his skill and I decide to learn from him so thankfully he accept my proposal and that's why I decide to apprenticeship with him for you know over the year and almost years and at the time he had a ongi factory so during the day I just working with him loading the uh, stock the ongis and glazing firing nine to five you know pretty much all day long uh, you guys can see my you know young probably <laughs> <laughs> Just a young boy and <laughs> almost 20 years. Oh yeah, almost 20 years ago. Even though he was really tough, you know, mentally, physically, but I'm really happy to spend with him because I really wanna learn how to make an you know, ongi part. So, and then after done this, my job, you know, after we got some dinner, and then. He showed me how to make ongi, and this is the ongi studio next to the, next to the factory. So he's sitting in the middle of the, you know, this spot, and then I'm sitting next to him. And then every now he showed me how to make, you know, not only from small sizes but also like this bigger sizes. And then I still remember one day at the time it was winter season, so outside the studio. The snowing and cold, and I would, I wouldn't be able to make it make it exactly what I want. I'm really frustrated. But he said one day, "Don't be frustrated, Yansu. If you keep practice, you'll be better, better." So, okay, I'll try. But you know, I feel that there is no shortcut. So that's why I just keep practice, practice as I can. And you guys see, oh, this is my first ongi part ever I made. You guys can see it's not perfect rounded, right? You exactly show my level of the you know skill set. So but I love this one because I just wanna you know click this moment and saving this you know I can see my passion of work and you know that's why still when I look at this you know part I like it. <laughs> And eventually, I, my skill set getting better and better. So after over the years, you know, I can tell, oh, I'm, I, my skill set uh, better and better. But I didn't know that about my identity as a Korean because when I decided to learn uh, make a ongi, I'm really focusing on develop my skill set. But since happened and uh, since I spent with with time. With him, not only enhance my skill set, but also I could find all my identity as a Korean. So, because I usually influenced by Western culture, which is I'm still wearing uh, Nike, you know, and Jordan T-shirt and shoes like that, and I'm wearing blue jeans. So I, I, I don't exactly about my, you know, heritage of my culture, but since spend time with Ongi, I'm, I'm curious about 
my background and my heritage and my identity. So, and you guys can see my drawing. I just, you know, I'm not hesitating. I just try to follow my instinct and just, if it's like there is uh, some space. Uh, historical, some house in Korea, there is a place to set up the chimney. Uh, Korean tradition heating system uh, in Korea, not only heating the uh, room, but also cook the kitchen. So multiple function in Korea. So that's why some uh, customers, you know, ordering that items. So this is kind of one, one meter, uh, 30 centimeter, kind of that size. And then not only uh, bigger one, and also I just make it a small one. And this is my undergraduate exhibition piece. So I'm really integrating, uh, discovering some beauty about some play with, with clay. And also I'm thinking about relationship with myself. So that's why I just want to create some of my version and historical. Uh, even though I usually influenced by Korean tradition, but also I just want to develop all my, you know, colors. And after graduate, I I had chance to visit uh, Gyeongsang Providence, which is the uh, there are three different type of scale set in Korea, Dep depends on which area. As I told you, my hometown working with slab, but this Gyeongsang Providence, which is the east south, they working with coils. So that's why I'm gonna uh, show how difference between. Uh, two techniques I'm going to show tomorrow and during the classes. And then I like this uh, moment and then the sunshine came through the plastic window and then he just keep making ongi pot. And then I don't know, but I really fascinating somehow making pot, you know. One of my friends, he doesn't understand, you know, why just he make it ongi and travel all of the countryside, you know, young man, you know, seems like you are out of the, you know, cities and so, but I like it, you know, I'm a different, so. so. And then that's why I decided to took another apprenticeship with another ongi master. He's the second generation ongi para. So he really good at it, you know, building coil techniques. And then I, I try to again, I learn again from him, people on, you know, skill set. And then he, he likes drinking soju every night. And then he seems like, you know, testing. You are ready to make ongi pot or not? So that's why he bring some soju and try some, you know. Even though I'm not good at drinking, but he seems like, you know, want to see my passion and energy. So anyway, I, I has have a, a great time with him for two years again. So, and then as you can see, I just practice again, again, holding the neck, you know, long snake coil. And then, and then every day I'm using my index fingers, you know, the next morning, my fingers, you know, getting bigger and, <laughs> and feeling so because I practice a lot. So, and eventually I can figuring out how would you be able to make ongi pa with uh, using coil techniques. So, and also I learn how to make handles. So, and then after done this, my apprenticeships, and then I feel like I feel tired because you know, even though I really wanna do learn from masters and teachers, but somehow I need all my time. And that's why I decided to move uh, back to my hometown. Uh, there is a guy, local Ongi Poro, and then he thankfully suggests that, why don't you work in with me? So that's why I was there. And then not only working in small item, but also, uh, on t I mean, diverse items and then I just keep making, develop my own voices. And all my 
early my career actually really invest time and energy put a lot of effort you know uh, building my skill set with own guitar and but I just want I don't want to just make it exactly the same that's why I'm trying to do develop all my you know voices as you can see I put some color clay and then all patch them leaves and then after glazing I just took off, took off and that's exactly you guys can see the you know, the stamp and also when I whenever make it the part it feels like uh, space which means you know I just decorate by my fingers you know I decorate a lot of fishes it feels like in the ocean and you guys can see reflect some you know ocean and waves and then and then I just want to play, you know. And also I'm thinking about what I'm going to put it inside you know, this space. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes it looks like sky, and sometimes it looks like undersea, sometimes landscape. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And you guys can see my finger drawing by my fingers and inne and put some, you know, symbol and some decorative work. After done this, my practice, I decided to uh, taking residence program, which is the, I feel like I've been time, I've been really, uh, I feel like a narrow mind and just invest time, develop my skill set, but I need another experience. So that's why I'd love to meeting new people, uh, other residence artists, it might be better for me, so that's why you guys can see my space and uh, some monkey power over there and at the time I really into local clay with wood fighting so I can imagine fighting electrics and apply under glass like that I don't like it mm -hmm. I like the just vivid colors and natural aspects you know I don't like artificial certain beauties so And also, I got actually double major when I was undergraduate. I like really, you know, I think I like to learn something new. So that's why I like blo I mean, uh, glass blowing. So that's why when I took the classes, I just holding the, you know, small pipe. When I, you know, ride in car and then I just keep rolling it, you know, put under my thighs and then. That's the I learned that because you know even I practice the pedaling, I holding the plastic, I just keep holding it and just you know, feeling. It. <laughs> because uh, if I, play, I mean professional player, I usually influenced by them. You know, they keep holding the ball, you know, to enhance in the you know senses. So that's that's why I'm, I'm I I I feel like you know feeling crazy, but when drove the car with my only teacher we just you know hitting the handle and, <laughs> and that's the way to learn you know that's the reason it's like you know oh I know it's kind of crazy but I learned a lot and at the time I just wanted to uh, working together uh, you guys can see the glass fish on the top and I just want to put together so this is one of the experiment with the two mediums and then some of the uh, glass inside you know and I just want to play with them <coughs> and I also try wall pieces uh, I just attach a melting glazing on top and finally I made all my own garden not only Kimchi and soybean paste pot, but also you know some small uh, figures. That's the you, you guys can see. This is a piece uh, from my uh, exit show the uh, this residence program in Gyeonggi Providence uh, Korean Ceramic Foundation. After done this, my uh, first residence, I was thinking. Why don't you go United States? 
when I was apprentice with Mr. O, he showed me the contemporary ceramic in the state. He met a lot of the fascinating ceramics in the state, and then Junganeko, Rudiario, a lot of the ceramists. And then I was thinking, I'm so curious about what's happening in the state. So if I have a chance to go, I want to go. So that's the, uh, I decided to go to Montana State University. Uh, really cold in Montana, so you know, minus 30 degree and really freaking cold and I can hardly breathe in, you know, someday, but um, I like to be there because, you know, it feels like out of my comfort zone, language barrier, challenging, there's no, you know, family, but it's a good time to discover, you know, who am I, you know, what do you really want to do. So that's why, even though some forms and shapes still preserve my history and background, but I try to decorate on the surface. And you guys can see the line drawing. And I just play with different medium, like the blue cobalt, like that. And then even I just play with the iron sculpture. So, but the story about speak about myself, you know. After since moving in state, you know, I feel like you know I'm more focusing on who am I, and I try to uh, think about me and what you really want to do and what 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 kind of work do you want. So that's the, my big questions at the time. And then, living in abroad, I'm mean, still challenging sometimes, missing home and friends and my facial expressions, you know, sometimes, you know, feel tired and sometimes feel depressed. And then, but I just want to keep working with clay. And it feels like clay is my best medium and also best friend because I've been spent time, you know, over the decades, so he knows everything. So. And then I just try to put together with my, you know, facial, I mean, favorite shapes. You guys can see moon just shape and then I just decorate some uh, funny and uh, nature items. And living in Montana, I just to visit go Yellowstone and next to the studio, you know, some horses and cows everywhere, and then I just try to capture in that moment, and that's why I'm trying to decorate. After done this uh, Montana's life, I feel like really devastating, and I'm so curious about what's the, my next chapter, and I even decide what I'm gonna do next, but I met this guy, Sanguya, at uh, University of Georgia. He thankfully suggested the program, MFA program, UGA. So I really, I, at the beginning, I was really hesitating because, you know, it's not easy living in abroad and I don't know what's gonna happen. And then well, I just spent time with him when he came to Korea and then I'm so curious about American culture and how to develop not only as an artist but also a human being, how to you know manage him. And when Sudi visit, he just turned on the kids' music and then just working hard. And then I realized that oh I think I should make keep making without thinking too much. So that's the only I can do and that's the power. You know, we usually say something and compare with people, other people, and jealous sometimes and judging. But I can tell he has good attitude. You know, he working hard as he can, and that's the I learned. That. Not only him, but also my, through my you know teachers. And that's why I'm still trying to do holding that attitude. That's the best I can. So. 
that's the way to uh, not only make it happen but also uh, make something you know like this moment so and then I did again you know I feel lonely again and even though he he has a living in you know next to me but I totally you know figuring out and what are you gonna do and you wanna really do one and are you happy with working with clay and something like that so my my family doesn't understand you know why I keep living in abroad and do you really love your job you know is it possible to just make a living something like that because some hierarchy in Korea they just you know wishing their better job and stable life you know every parents uh, you know wish to their children but somehow I don't know I just like you know I want to make something different than others you know? I want to make something unique work and I want to just be same you know like others you know so that's why I like my job and work in the clay so but uh, my mind actually depressed somehow you know but I feel like you know it's gonna never never gonna happen so that's why I decided to working hard and when I was in grad school here in my studio and uh, you guys can see my wall pieces and some experiment pieces put on the table and when I go to uh, studio every morning I bring some you know a breakfast which is an apple and coffee and then I just sit in the chair and then I just grab a pump of clay and then I just make clay ball and I just start just you know uh, make, my, make my friend which is the facial you know small face kind of and then it feels like just warming up you know and I just preserving that moment and you know, express my facial expression but also preserving memories that's the I think good habit and and also you guys can see I also um, this searching from my background this is the uh, Buncheon and one of the Korean ceramic uh, tradition and then but you guys can see some of my experiments on the table uh, when I was in grade school uh, Mr. Yeo he just keep pushing different direction than same routines so I used to make it put on uh, working with uh, Wonder Wheel and then he doesn't like it that's why I decided to throw all the habit as I can which means you know I try to change the processes otherwise you know I even though I try to make something different but the results are a bit similar so that's why I changed clay body I used to drawing the part and the decorate work and then do something else but I try to change everything which means you know not only uh, change clay body which means for example I used to clay body working with dark clay body and apply white ceremony and some decorate and do something else but I, I start uh, working in the uh, porcelain and also instead of drawing on the wheel I just start from the bending wheel and pinching and some slab work and also I still have it something like you know after done each piece and piece and I do again again but I decide to working together you know several pieces I do working same at the same time and rather than just finish as I can I just working with uh, during the month that's why I'm trying to do you know make something new and this is one other uh, sample and uh, piece that I make when I was in grad school and at the time I really fascinating and collaborate with other medium which means you know I do working with some fabrics but also I really uh, spend time uh, decorations which means uh, 
surface decoration. That's why I'm do brush drawing, which means in color graphics. And then you guys can see facial expressions. And I just try to make something different. And here is the, some sample on the wall. And also, I didn't make a lot of wall pieces, you know, when I was in Korea. But uh, since moving states, you know, I decided to different direction. You know, not only change the body, but also I just try to different approaches. You know, as you can see, you know, wall pieces. When I make wall pieces, I'm thinking about thickness and gravity and how would you be able to hang. You know, that's the another different approach. And well, it, it helps a lot. And And I try to change the color palette too, you know. Thinking about my previous work, you know, just tradition only, and even though I just try to make something different, but a little bit similarity. But since moving state, you know, I just try to play with, you know, different color palettes. So, and also I used to fire in cone 6. Instead of cone 6, I fire cone 10, and a couple of them. Couple of you know times, and then you guys can see first drawing with some pouring glazing and and even this is the wall pieces. Even I apply on the glaze, you know. So and this is the just you know pedestal pieces. But I like to play with some colors. At the beginning, I was a little bit hesitating to you know, play with the colors, but I tried to make something new. That's why you know, I, I decided to, I need more experiment. So that's why those pieces are one of the samples. And then you guys can see I put a test color, color clay. And this is the line drawings. And this this piece made up of the pinching and coilings. And I just I just wanna explain and showing my references. I usually I usually influenced by Buncheon, which is the uh, Korean uh, tradition ceramics. I love this you know contrast between negative space and pos positive space. And when I, when I look at this you know treasures and some my favorite uh, things in Korea, I just thinking about what I'm gonna put it inside. You know? That's why I'm thinking about about space. And, uh, one of my favorite hobbies, you know, visit to Korean National Museum in Korea. Uh, when I was the freshman and undergraduate, I got a assignment, you know, sketchy probably 10 pieces a week. So that's why whenever I have a free time, I really enjoy to go see, you know, find some beauties. So even I couldn't expect that, but gradually and naturally, I, I feel like influenced by, you know, some aesthetics. And also I like this, you know, abstract drawings. And and also, I like this uh, line colorist. I can I can tell this is the more dynamic and rhythmical than patterning work. And this is the piece of the sample of brush drawing, which is the iron brush drawing, and some stamp and diverse techniques out there. And this is one of the pieces that I made. And this is the middle of the stock. Uh, you know, hands and then uh, inlay and apply the white slip and pink covering together. So I apply the wood firing. And this is the uh, secret pedo and I just try to put my favorite items and my myself and some uh, characters and fishy and flowers. And also my a big influence, inflation uh, by Mina, which is a Korean folk painting. I love the, their imagination. You know, it looks like surrealism and 
And one of my favorite artists actually, uh, Dali, who is the surrealism represent, and Margaret is one of my favorite. So somehow when I practice with painting, I like this surrealism paintings. So Mina is the kind of you know same tasting to me. So that's why I just you know using the wooden tool and carving like this. So that's why I'm trying to develop all my voice and my, my ways rather than follow the same you know, routines. And also I just play some color palette uh, with you know secret beetle drawings. And here is the short video. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring the my kick wheel. This is the way to build with the uh, slab. And I made the you know, big clay pancake at the bottom and then adding the slab together. This is the first layer. And then when I make the big part, I'm using the big torch. And then after done this, and then paddling. And then adding. Oh. Adding coils. I like this sound. It's <laughs> <laughs> like in the middle of the jungle, and they might listen, you know, right? That's so, my story. So. <laughs> this is one of the samples, and I to secret pedo, this piece actually I'm using the uh, stone layer and then apply the black on the glaze and then I'm using the needle tool you know to decorate and drawing this you know. After done this, I'm using the metal tool carving tool and then take off the negative space. Depends on sizes, you know, sometimes all day long and a couple of days. Yeah, here is my big inspiration from my sketchbook. I try to develop my own voices, which means, you know, when I do doodling, there is no limitation. As you know, no matter what mediums, you know, we can learn from uh, learning from others, or learning from how to learn from failures, right? But somehow, I've been thinking too much about gravity and thickness and shaping, decoration. But when I do doodling, there is no limitation, which means, you know, I'm not thinking about thickness and shaping, what I'm going to fight in, uh, wood fighting, electric, glazing. But I just play with some images and ideas. So, and this is one of the big uh, sipping moment. And as you can see, I used to let it empty, you know, the negative space, but somehow, why don't try fit it out, you know, whole space. So that's why I try fit it out. And you guys can see two circles, which means, you know, that means represent my prospect, you know, what I'm looking at, what I'm searching for. So that's what I'm trying to do. And this is exactly applied on that scale round plate. So, after done this, you know, I really got a lot of good feedback and wow, how do you make Yeonsu? It seems like crazy. And then, <laughs> am I? And then, 
I think it looks like a sign to me, you know. Some, some, if I couldn't make better work, you know, they just don't say anything. But, oh, they, you know, feedback something. So, okay, I'm gonna keep doing this. So. <laughs> And then this is one of the, my, you know, enjoying with the play with uh, brush drawing. So as you can see, my I'm trying to bring my favorite items, you know, not only facial expression, expressions, but also some of my favorite item, dog and fishes and some bird and you know, a lot of uh, my favorite items. And I try to collaboration with myself, you know. I used to divide, you know, this is exactly this this one technique, this piece is exactly that technique, right? But why don't try put together? That's what I'm trying to do. So this is the put on the top I did first drawing and next uh, rest of them I just secret it up. And also I'm thinking about uh, narrative story about my work. Uh, you guys can see the fishes, you know, swimming under the sea and my big theme about space and relationships. So that's why I speak about myself, you know. So and also, you know, to make something new, I just uh, collect a lot of items, you know. During the pandemic, I'm watching Netflix, a lot of, you know, dramas and movies, and then I noticed that there is no exactly one genre, so multiple genres, you know, put together. I think it looks like more interesting to me. So exactly, supposed to be exactly same single item, single wave expression, it's kind of boring. And if I could predict what's going to happen next, oh, I don't... You know, I can't find any interesting, so that's why I'm not 100% abstract, but I'm, I don't want to 100 realistic. So that's kind of, you know, balance between in terms of subject matters, but also, you know, to hold the intention, I just try digging more, invest time, decorate, you know, so that's what I'm trying to do. And this is one of the world piece. And even though I got idea from my, you know, doodling, but I try to make different versions. And even apply the color clay, it might be more uh, attractive by viewers. So uh, my previous work actually just, you know, a lot of time to invest time shaping and firing, but. Lately, my work more invest time to uh, decorate, you know. And then even I just spray the aloe glazing, try to apply different color, you know, palettes. I just say aloe garden, but I like this one too. And then I just you know make the scale uh, shaping. And I think at the time. I feel like, you know, I'm thinking about more what's the important. And I think I would say time, which means I've been thinking too much about near my future. And also, I really didn't enjoy every single moment. You know? I often regret my you know, past. I should have done this, you know. I should, why done this answer like this? But, uh, and also, who knows, you know, we are weak, you know, as a human being. That's why we worry about futures, you know, what I'm gonna do, my my work and how to be handling, you know, how to be able to live in as a full time artist, you know. If I get a stable job, if I would be more happier or not. And what's the definition of our success in your life? What's what's the definition of your happiness? So that's why I'm trying to bring certain questions about my 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 life. At the beginning, if I could make better work and good work, still, you know, hard to define, you know, but it's gonna be okay, but I think it's not. So life goes, you know, there's no answers, 
there is no right way, there is no wrong, wrong way, you know. And then one day I realized that my parents were just wishing to be happy, eat well, sleep well, something like that. You know? Why I'm so serious? You know? Why set the goal and aim to higher and higher, working as you can, you know? But, but I love my job and I hugely influenced by my teachers, you know. That's the, I learned that. But at the same time, oh, I shouldn't done this, you know, like that. You know? I, if I go my way, I think I'm, I would be happy, I would be succeed, you know. That's the, someone, as you know, life is a journey, you know. But life is kind of, you know, irony and that's, I think I, I like this expression, you know. Art is the find the way, uh, what's the life, you know, what's the happiness, kind of, you know. So, sorry to bring some you know, big questions, but. <laughs> and this is one of my favorites, and then I took uh, this drawing probably five days, you know. You guys can see really tiny lines, you know. You know, to make something new, I just try make something different. You know? Even though I apply color palette, and I like, you know, they sitting inside window, and yeah, I still like this one. So, and then, thankfully, I accept the Archbury Foundation Regents. Uh, since after graduate. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but uh, I just apply residence program in the state before uh, just decide to, you know, to back to Korea. So thankfully, I had a good chance to go, and then this is one of my favorite places to go. So I really feel lucky, even though at the time it was a pandemic. So, but you guys can see my ongi part. You know, I made this ongi part for the. Uh, holiday sales. So. And then this is piece, I took piece, uh, and I was at the break, I, I tried to more invest time to create uh, my work. So I used to just make a single item and day by day, but somehow I'm more thinking about how they look like if I put together, you know. I, my shift concept and ideas, you know, interesting about more, you know, it looks like more diverse culture like that. So that's why rather than just define each, every single item, you know, I just, because we are different, right? So that's why I made this one, tomorrow I made that one. We, and that's the different. You know? So and you guys can see, I might be better just, you know, single piece. And this piece uh, showed through my solo show in Montana. And then, I don't know, I like the cartoons and playful narrative story, you know. I think I'm a kind of too serious, but somehow I hope to enjoy seeing my work, you know, oh, it looks funny, you know, it's fun to watch and I don't want to, when I look at my piece, you know, you are so serious, man, but, uh, and, but somehow reflect my, you know, my emotions and my ideas day by day. I used to drawing uh, trans transplant through my sketchbook, somehow, it looks like library is gone, so that's why I'm not doing sketch that much. I just go go for it, you know, because that's the way to bring creativeness, you know. If you have plan exactly, life plan exactly, I think it's not exactly goals. So that's why, okay, let's see how it goes, Yansu. What are you gonna do today? And then, even though I have a plan. You know, sometimes no plan is a good plan, but sometimes I will plan. Oh, this is, this is supposed to be you guys' main characters, and this you guys sub, you guys have extras, like that. But 
you know, I just, if I influence by people and, you know, environment and something, I just try to bring it. So, that's the way to keep doing this, you know. Lately, I'm thinking about how to be keep making and how to be able to keep product, you know, when you studio. So that's why I don't make a you know, perfect plan. And then just, you know, give them breathing, you know, moment, like the own, you know. So that's the good way to make a relationship, you know. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with my work. And then this is the skill piece, and then I try to attach the, you know, and some different, you know, expressions. And And this is one of my favorite and title be yourself. I think I'm still figuring out who am I. I know I like uh, working with clay, express, and make something new. And, and also I'm really good time to figuring out who am I since moving in state. If I keep living in Korea, I didn't think about that much because I'm even though I'm standing here, I'm sitting here, and then you know, I can imagine. You know, that moment, but I feel really grateful to be here and then you guys can see my self-portrait, hey, Yansu, and you know, sometimes <laughs> dancing and bring friends and you know, something Olympics, you know, symbols and Munja and something like that. So that's the way to release and express my way and create you know, my stories. Yeah, almost there, so. <laughs> and also, you know, to make something new, I try to collaborate with myself, you know. As I told you earlier, I do one technique, one, fi one, fi one firing, one way. But inside, uh, first drawing, outside, secret feeder. That's why I'm trying to do, look at the different, you know. As you can see, you can see, you know, you, s you, you need the out -out, you know, outside box, right? That's why exactly I'm trying to do, you know, inside different, outside different, and inside different, outside different. Yeah. So, and then, and also I'm thank, thankful she here and she's good at it. Uh, I think she's really good at, you know, color choices. You know. As a man, I like the black, and <laughs> just green, I know, the gray, like the black, like the, but somehow she likes, you know, pink and colorful, so that's why I try to collaborate and put together. That's another, another way to moving forward and find something new. So, and I'm still figuring out when should I stop or no, because, you know, I don't know. But, you know, to make something new, I just try across certain lines. Otherwise, you know, I just keep standing and sitting you know, same space, right? That's exactly what I did in Hawaii. You know? Even I could expect that, but I'm here and then everything, something new, you know? It's been a while, you know? Especially since pandemic. My eyes and keep, you know, look at that, you know? I've never seen this, you know? Wow, you know? Everything new. That's exactly something new. So that's why I came here. And I'm really, yeah, be happy to be here. And, uh, <laughs> this is one of my favorite. You guys can see it this side, you know, even I attach some, you know, volumes. That's another way. That's why I'm trying to do not only change clear body, but also I'm working on inside, on the surface, even after attach. So even, I think this is the key word actually, I'm speak about layers, you know, multiple layers more interesting. Multiple stories more interesting for you, so. Even though single story it is worthy, it's sad, but somehow I try to make something different. Oh, I might be creating you know, more layers. That's why I'm trying to do. And exactly, even though I made separately, I just put together. You know, why does it look like? You know, that's what. That's another way to experiment. So that's. Uh, that's my plan 
lately I think about more insulation and how they look like people on me and how, how can I insulate, how can I show dependent space and you know, even collaborate. That's why I'm trying to do. Three pieces, you know, I made separately. I, I just want to experiment, you know, put together how they look, look like. Sometimes good, sometimes not, but I just, I just play with them. And I think I still believe the most personal is the most creativity. I got hugely influenced by who is the Martin Scorsese, who is the famous film director. So I've been enjoying watching, you know, movies and dramas. And when I in studio, you know, even though sometimes looks looks good, but as you know, you know, we just sitting from the chairs and spend time all day long, kind of boring, you know. And then sometimes watching YouTube and listening music and you know, see the channels and then. But I've been enjoying, you know, watching and dramas and movies. And then that's why I'm more thinking about stories and layers and how can I, if I feel satisfying, interesting to me, I think you guys too. If I feel dis dissatisfied, boring, I feel that you guys too. So that's why I'm thinking, oh, when I look at my work, oh, I think it looks like good or something new. And I know it's not easy, but if I feel that way, I think good sign. Oh, you've been good, better and better answer. So. And then, yeah. It's been a while, you know, long speak about myself and I don't need sharing my, uh, speak about myself and sharing my journey. And I thank you for listening and, and if you have any questions, let me know. So.